Welcome back everyone to Lemma's Creations DIY. My name is Tammy. Let's start crafting. So I've had this clay pot in my stash for quite a while. It's uh, fairly wide. It's about 10, just over 10 inches high. And I got it for like $4, but I've had it for quite a, quite a long time. So I decided to make something out of it. So taking this trim clad paint, it's a hammered in the colored bronze. If you can see that top strip up there, that's what it's basically supposed to look like. So now I'm just going to paint the entire clay pot with this hammered bronze trim clad paint. Giving it one full coat over the entire pot. Then I picked up this pizza pan up at our Dollarama here in, in uh, Ontario and taking these three colors, I use white, brown and black. I'm just taking a cheap uh, sponge brush or a cheap uh, stencil brush, that's what it is, and I'm just going to dab on the entire pan all in the white, just dabbing away. No rhyme or reason, just dab, 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 load the paintbrush up as you go. Then I'm taking the black and I'm going to do the exact same process all over the pizza pan. And again with the brown, I do the same thing again, all over, adding in the brown color. And then when I was looking at it, I needed something else. So I went and grabbed uh, some silver and added that to the pan as well. And I just kept alternating colors back and forth between the brown and the black, the white, the silver, and just dabbing and dabbing all over the pan, giving it quite a neat effect. Now that the pot is dry and it kind of has that hammered look, I decided it was a little too bright. It wasn't as bronze as I thought it was. It was more goldy than I thought. So doing my usual thing, I'm taking some black paint, adding in some water, mixing it together taking a clean ray and I'm gonna rub it all the round where I've painted just darkening up that bronze a bit so it wasn't so bright kind of looked more gold to me than bronze if you're new to my channel I'd like to say welcome we love having you if you're returning and one of my subscribers hi nice to see you again if you could please subscribe Hit that big thumbs up and don't forget that notification bell. Would love to have you stick around. Now that everything is done, I found these three big rocks outside in my yard. I'm using this stinky glue. I can never remember what it's called and a mixture of hot glue. And I'm just going to glue them down to the bottom. Now I don't really expect them to stay glued there, but I wanted them glued long enough for when I transplanted it transplanted for when I carried this outside to put it into place and then taking that stinky glue again I'm gonna all around the top of this clay pot and also using my glue gun I'm going to adhere that pizza pan right on top Let it sit there. I let it sit there for a little bit so the glue would set up. And then I took it outside and I gave it a good coat of this clear outdoor spray paint. And there it is set up between mine and my husband's loungers on our deck. It's a little short for where it's supposed to be. I thought it'd be a little bit taller, but I like it. It actually is useful. I was using it the, I was sitting there last night and it, uh, it's pretty neat having it there. We needed something to put our drinks on. On to the next project. This project's a little different. It's a paper craft. So here I'm using all those colors, the blue, the green, or that yellow, 
the grays, different colors in there. And this is the booklet that I got it from. They have all kinds of wonderful paper inside that booklet. I'm using the thick one, or the thicker one is a mounting tape, and the other one is a sticky two-sided tape. Um, my cutters, my paper cutters. My scoring board, which on the back is helpful, has card sizes and envelope sizes. Now, starting with this mustard orange one, which has a little uh, texture on top, we're going to make a 5 by 7 card. So looking on the back, I notice, okay, I need a 10 by 7 piece. So taking my paper, sliding it in, I measure it to the 10 inch, cut it, flip it around, measure to the 7 inch, and then cut it there. Then taking my scoreboard, I line it up on there, and at the 5 inch mark, I score line down the center of the paper. Folding it over by hand using the same tool, I smooth it down. And there's the beginning of the card. Next, I'm using this light gray color. And I cut it down to four and three quarters by six and three quarters. This is a little bit of a different craft for everyone. It's a, I'm, we're going to be making a birthday card. Uh, my son's birthday is today, and I needed to make a card. So I thought, hey, why not record it at the same time and show you guys how to do it. This blue sheet of paper, I cut this one down to four and a half by six and a half. If this is something you guys enjoy, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to see more card making or paper crafts, let me know. I'll see what I can do. Now taking these uh, printed papers, I'm going to use all three. The first one, I cut it down to four by five. There's no any rhyme or reason of the sizes of these three sizes that I'm going to be cutting now. I just went along and decided what size I wanted and just cut pieces. I wanted different layers of colors and textures, so this is how I did it. Taking this checkered one, I cut this one down to 2 inch by 3 inch. Then taking this next colored one, it's kind of like a blue green greenish color. I am cutting it down to two inch by five and a half inches. And then I'll layer that on top of the card as well. I always cut my paper or draw on my paper with the wrong side up. So this way I don't ruin the side of the paper that I want to be seen. Now taking this dark gray color, we are going to cut a piece that is four and three quarters by six and three quarters. And what that's going to be, it's going to be the inside of the card where you write your message to whoever it is. And then also taking another piece of this dark gray color one, I cut a piece that is two inch by five inch. And that is going to be our happy birthday sign. Before doing that, I making sure I'm on the wrong side of the paper. I'm going to draw triangles, little lines on either side, kind of like almost making it as if it was a ribbon, it would be dovetailed. So that's what I'm doing here. Using my ruler, I draw the lines and then using my scissors, I cut them out. And I was looking at it and I thought it looked a little weird. So I snipped off the end to make it a little shorter. And thought, okay, and I put it aside. Now to assemble the card. Doing the inside first, I use my double-sided tape, pull off the backing, and adhere it to the inside. And then I start layering my card, starting with the bottom one. 
using my double-sided tape, sticking it on. The blue one next. Double-sided tape, take the backing off, line it up, and stick it on. Then all these little pieces. The first one goes in the corner there. The second one goes on the bottom, layered on top a bit. And the third one's going to go there. Now taking the sign, I then again trim it down a little more because I thought it was a little too thick, too wide. So I just take a little piece off each side just to take the width away a bit. Sorry if you hear bugs, I'm outside and I've got a housefly buzzing around my head. At least I hope that was a housefly. Now taking my markers, I always take a piece of scrap and make sure I like what color it is. I write, on the word, write down the words, happy 13th birthday, Justin, who is my middle child son. He turned 13. Taking this mounting tape, I'm going to stick a piece to the back and it helps raise it a bit off of the card. And I had these little buttons with letters on them. They have sticky on the back, but I don't use that sticky because I'm always unsure if it'll stick. And it spells out the word love. And then taking this, this is sizal rope. I cut off three pieces. And then I also make a bow out of it. Uh, just a simple bow. And then I'm gluing everything into place. Glue down the, the buttons on the corners there. Taking that sizal rope. Ideally, you should do this before you glue all your stuff down. This was an afterthought, but I was still able to do it. I kind of tucked it in behind that first layer, glued it into place, and then glued the bow on top. And there's your card. Now it's time to make the envelope. On the back of this scoreboard, it has envelope sizes. So I did an A7 card. So you go down below and you do an A7 envelope. So to start off, I need a 10 by 10 piece of paper. So taking this dark gray color, I'm going to continue with the colors of the card. And that's, this matches the inside of that card plus the little sign. I'm going to cut off a 10 by 10 piece. Then taking my, car, my scoreboard again, on the back it has, I got to stick with the A7. So on the back it has all these lines that have A7. So what you do is you take your paper and you line it up with those jotted lines on the corner. And then there's score lines that go downwards and across. And they are also are labeled with A7 and you follow along with those. Doing your first score line along the side. You continue along the, the next A7 along the bottom. And then you do the same thing on the top and on the other side. Just following along with the A7s. Now there's these little tiny corners, little triangle corners here. If you can see that there, you need to cut those off. So that's what I do. Go around with my scissors and cut them off. You don't have to cut them off, but when you start to fold it, they tend to bulk up on the inside. So now it's time to assemble the envelope. Taking the sides first, I fold it in by hand first to make sure I get the crease right. And then I crease it down with my little creasy tool, score tool. Do the sides, I do the bottom, and then I do the top. Now taking my double-sided tape, I tr uh, peel off enough to glue along the sides, all along those edges on each side. I get as close to the edge as I can as possible. Peel off the backing, and then fold the bottom up to meet those and glue it into place. And then what I also do is I take another little piece of two-sided tape and I stick it on the flap there so when you're done with whatever you're putting in the card you just peel it off and close the envelope. And that's how it will fit inside. Now to decorate the outside of the envelope. 
Now I'm taking this blue piece, which is one of the backing pieces, layered pieces on the card. And I cut off a piece that is about one and a half inches by five. It's going to sit right in the middle there. And before I glue it down, I write my son's name on it, Justin. Taking my two double-sided tape, put a couple strips on the back, peel off the backing and stick it on in the middle of the card or in the middle of the envelope. Sorry. Taking some of that styles of rope, I'm just going to make a simple bow again. Glue it into the corner of the blue piece there. Cute little bow. And then taking my markers again, I'm going to draw some balloons just around his name there on the car on the envelope. I'm using blue and green marker. Adding the strings to the balloons and then I add a little bow on to the bottom ones and there you have it that's the envelope and this is your card or his card I guess I should say place to write the message nice front Nice little card for him. Slide it into the envelope. And we're good to go. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. I certainly had fun making it. If you could please subscribe, like this video. Don't forget the notification bell. You can follow me on Instagram at Tammy Lou Bro. I'm also now on Facebook, Lamas Creations DIY. I hope everyone has a nice day. Bye.